Welcome back to Huawei Routing and Switching Elite Training for HCIE. Today topic we are going to discuss on ISIS. Let's start our part 8. Let's look into the next requirement. So company A require that different areas can communicate with each other. The requirements are as follow. Enable R6 to import network segment 10.0x0 slash 24 and add tag to import route. So all these uh, 10 network, 10.0x network, uh, we are going to use the import route. And when we import this route, we are going to add a tag of 100. So uh, we are going to use a command called import route direct. But uh, in this case, we are going to add additional information such as the tag of 100 based on the requirement. But please remember that whenever we use the tag, uh, the router have to enable the call style as wide. Okay. Then uh, second requirement, enable area 47001, which is this area, to learn route on network uh, 10 0 x 0 slash 24 through R4. Okay, so we are going to configure R4. Only tag with 100 will be uh, imported. Okay, so we are going to create a policy. Okay, so let's look into how we can uh, do this lab. Okay, so based on the requirement, we are going to advertise the network 10 on this interface to R4 using a tag of uh, 100. So let's go into R6 in our interface gig 0. So as you can see that I have a uh, four IP address here and this is the um, uh, secondary IP and uh, this is not enabled for ISIS yet. So I'm going to advertise this into ISIS using the import route. So first I need to go to the ISIS. I'm going to say that import route direct and I'm going to use a tag. Okay, uh, it's 32 bit. So the question asks for 100, so I'm going to do an import route direct of 100. Now please remember that this has no effect until we enable the call style as in white. All right, so this is very important. Okay, so that's on the R6. We have enabled the call style. And uh, let's do on R4. Uh, before that, okay, let me verify, display eyes 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 db where boss okay so you can see that i have a tag here okay so these are the four routes that i already tagged <coughs> okay that's good so we confirm that r6 is sending out to r4 and r5 so firstly since we are going to use the tag we have to enable all the isis with the cost style of white so go to r4 so I'm going to use a cost out wide. So we have to enable on all the router, okay, for it to take effect. So I just do a copy and paste. So I do on R4. I'll do it on R5. Okay, that's on R3. I'm going to do it on R1 and R2. That's on R1. And finally, I'm going to do on R2. Okay, that's good. So I have enabled all the uh, cost style to white. All right, let's do a uh, second requirement. The second requirement is to mention that in the event that the uh, advertisement is being advertised to R4, and R4 is going to re-advertise this into the uh, R1, R2, and R3 as an L1. So if, if I go to R3, Okay, so let me do a display IP routing table, protocol ISIS. Uh, you can see that there isn't have any 10 network, but they do have a network 10, okay, that is using uh, gateway of 34.1.1.4, which is router 4, and 35.1.1.5, which is on the router 5. There isn't have any network 10 yet. So this is what we're going to do. Uh, we are going to send it to router 4, and router 4 now should receive it. Okay, so you can see that router 4 receive it and router 5 also receive it. Okay, but the question required that only router 4 do the import route and this route only will be imported if the tag is 100. So the first thing here is that we have to uh, filter based on the tag. 
and for that we are going to use a route policy okay so we are going to use a route policy we are going to use a name called tag that's a case sensitive permit node 10 if I'm going to match a tag of 100 okay and remember that this is my policy name called tag <clears throat> so in the uh, router for ISIs, I'm going to create a policy. I'm going to say that I'm going to import a route, okay, ISIs, with a level of level two because when I uh, send this information, this information is being advertised of layer, uh, level two into level one, but I'm going to use a policy, and that policy is called filter policy. The filter policy name is called tag. Okay, so let me do one more time. Uh, import route ISIS level 2. Okay, let me do where's the error. Import route ISIS level 2 into level 1. Filter policy. I'm going to use a policy called tag. Hmm. Import route ISIS level two into level one. I'm going to use a filter policy. Oh, sure enough. Okay, uh, my mistake here because I forgot to put the route policy. Okay, so the route policy is called tag. So let me do a display here. So this is the tag figure. Okay, so let me check if let's say I have uh, successfully performed that. And I'm going to verify on router 3, display IP routing protocol, protocol ISIS. Okay, there you go. All right, so we have a 10 network that is purely pointing to 34114 because the import route is being done on router 4 and not being done on router 5. And let me check the value of 100. It should be inside my LSDB. We'll browse. Okay, so that is my tag. Okay, that's my tag. And uh, since R3 receive it, okay, R1 and R2 should receive it as well. Okay, so I go to R1. I do a display IP routing table, protocol ISIS. Okay, sure enough. All right, so this is my route and I do receive it. And when I do a uh, check here or uh, let's see that on router 6 uh, what is my IP address is 10.0.0.1 so let me go to here and ping to 10.0.0.1 okay and when I do a trace 10.0.0.1 it will be using R4 Okay, so that is how we can uh, achieve the objective using the tag. In this exercise, company A uh, have a new requirement. Uh, the requirement is to allow R2 to access the network 47002, which is this network, only through a default route. Do not use ACL or IP prefix list. So um, if you still remember on the earlier exercise, the R6 do a tagging of 100. And uh, R2 is a L1 router. So since I do not want to use the ACL or IP prefix list, what we can do is to create a route policy to deny tag 100. And uh, we can use the default route to reach to 47002. Okay, so let's look into the lab on the solution. Just to recap back that uh, we have the tag from the R6. Uh, advertising 10 network. So we are in router 2. Let's do a display IP routing table and filter based on ISIS. As you can see that I have a default route because this is the L1 and I also have a 10 network here. 
Okay, so let's have a look on the tag. Do a display ISIS as DB. Look for the verb brush. So as you can see from here, the 10 network is with a tag of 100. Now the requirement mentioned that we cannot use the uh, ACL or IP prefix. Okay, so from this uh, route here, you can see that I have a default route and I also have the detail route. So what I'm going to do is based on the requirement is I'm going to deny those tags with 100. I'm still able to connect to it. So let's do a test on ping. So I'm pinging from R2 all the way to the R6. Okay, and uh, let's do the filtering now. So for us to do the filtering, uh, we are going to create a route map. Okay, so let's do a route policy, sorry, route policy. And uh, the name I'm going to give it like a 10 with a node of 10. Remember that we have a tag of 100 just now. Okay, so we are going to match the tag of 100. All right, so I say that if match tag of 100. So let's check our display route policy. Okay, so we have the tag here. And uh, those that with tag of 100, I'm going to do a deny. Okay, deny. So I'm going to go into the ISIS. I'm going to use a command called filter policy. With a route policy, and the route policy name is called 10. Okay, and I'm going to filter import. There you go. So let's do a display route policy. We have match. Okay, and uh, let's do a display IP routing table, protocol ISIS. Right, so it seems like I have a filter all of it. So did I correctly match it? Oh, definitely. It's because that I block every single thing. So my mistake here. All right, so in here, I'm supposed to block only 10 network. So this is where uh, I also can demonstrate to you that if I just use a deny without the permit statement, everything will be denied. Okay, so I'm going to rectify it by running on the uh, route policy 10 permit node 20 okay let me do a display route policy one more time okay so we have a match over here okay and uh, let's do a display IP routing protocol ISIS there you go so you can see that the 10 network has been filtered and these are all without attack and I still can go into 10.0.1.1 because uh, I'm using a default route Okay, I'm using a default route rather than the detail route. So this is how you can uh, control the receiving using the tag. Let's look into ISIS security. Um, in this question, company A want to improve the security of the network and has the following requirement. Uh, we need to authenticate the LSP and SNP sent by router in area 47001. So we know that the 40001 we are running on uh, the uh, level one. So we are going to use area authentication and they need to use the authentication type as MD5 and the password is Huawei. Okay. So on the second requirement, uh, we need to authenticate the IIH sent by L2. So L2 is between four and six and five and six. So we are going to set the authentication type to MD5 and authentication uh, password is Huawei. So over here we are going to set on the interface authentication and the command for this is ISIS authentication. So let's look into the solution on how to solve this problem. So to solve the uh, first requirement we are going to use area authentication. So I'm going to start from uh, area 47001. So let's go to the router one here. I need to go to ISIS. Okay. And as you can see from here, I have no, no authentication and 
I need to do area authentication. The requirement for me is to use the MD5 and the option here is keychain MD5 and simple. So I'm going to use MD5 and the requirement is to use a password called Huawei case sensitive. And please remember that you also can enable based on OSI, but we are going to just do authentication on IP. Okay, so this is the uh, configuration and I'm going to enable this on router 2, router 3, router 4 and router 5. So to make it easier, I just copy and paste. So I will need to go into the router 2, router 3, okay, router 4, and finally router 5. Okay, so this is the first one uh, that we need to configure. That's on the area authentication. Now, once you have us uh, configure this area authentication, the next requirement over here is to configure the authentication on L2. And we are going to use the interface authentication between four and six and five and six. So let's enable that on the router six first. So router 6 have two interfaces, gig001 and gig002. So the configuration for here is, I need to go into the uh, interface, gig001, ISIS authentication. I'm going to use the MD5. Again, uh, we have these uh, three options, MD5. I'm going to use the password, Huawei, as uh, required by the question and IP. Okay, so this is a command for interface authentication. And since I have two interfaces, this is gig001, another one is gig002. So I will go to the gig002. I will do the same thing. Okay. That's is. All right, so I have a configure it. And as you can see that the neighbor changed to down. The reason is I have configured on the R6, but I've not configured on R4 and R5. So if I go to the R5 here, let's do a display ISIS error. Okay. Let's see if there have any errors over here. Okay, seems like, all right. So you can see that it's changed to init here. There's no error, but uh, let's see I have any ISIS peer. Okay, there you go. All right, so there's no error on the uh, serial interface because I have changed all the authentication to the correct password, but I have not configured that on R5. So R5 now go into the init mode because the authentication fell. So on the R5, I will go into the interface gate, gate 002 and ISIS authentication mode MD5 password is Huawei and based on IP. Okay, so we'll wait for a while for it to come back. Okay, there you go. All right, so you can see that it's go to up. I do a display ISIS peer. Now you can see that the authentication works. So I also will do it on router four. Ice Ice Authentication. Sorry, I need to go to Interface. K001. Ice Ice Authentication Mode. MD5. Huawei IP. Okay, so uh, this is a, a answer. All right, so I show you the answer on how you can configure authentication on the interface as well as on the area authentication. So if you go back into the router one here, all right, so this is the area authentication. All right, so uh, that is the uh, solution for our problem. Thanks for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel.